Good arrow. Thank you. Nice arrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got me some strappage. I first shared a campfire with Ted in Zimbabwe. That was over 20 years ago. I met Razor many, many years ago, and I discovered that he had a great positive spirit and a great positive attitude. He loved his predator instincts and how to not just celebrate them and live them, but to share them and promote them with people. So Razor and I hit it off on a shared love and craving for real high energy, fiery rhythm and blues rock and roll. And for what we call the spirit of the wild. I owe Ted a lot. You know, he, he inspired me to bow hunt years ago. But more importantly than that, he taught me how to be a relentless hunting activist. You know, everything that I do today, it's because I was inspired by him so long ago. And the fact is, he still inspires me today. Isn't that something? I owe a lot to him. You often hear me use the word blood brother. It's a sacred term that identifies people who care, people that know, and that people will be there for you. Blood brothers will always be ready, willing, and able, dare I say, cocked, locked, and ready to rock dock to help a fellow blood brother. But I think young Razor Dobbs qualifies as my bloodiest of blood brothers because the guy's got a lot of attitude, he's got a lot of spirit, and he's a rock and roller. He loves real American rhythm and blues, soul music, rock and roll, hence the relationship with his big daddy, the whack master. He is definitely my blood brother. Dead. He's gone to the city. <laughs> There, look at all this blood, and here's my arrow right here. So that was blood trail instantly upon impact. Look at that. What a wonderful, wonderful head. Wonderful head. And the blood trail, oh God, it's obvious. It just keeps going. Look at all that. That is maximum trauma. There's huge, I mean, anybody could follow this blood trail. I wish they were all like this. And this week, they've all been like this. Look at this. Unbelievable. And there she is right there. Look, right there. Look at that. That's why God made their bellies white, so whenever you kill them, they turn up and you can find them a lot easier. But we don't need a white belly. We got a blood trail. Big time. Look at that. 